It is the first day of class for public school students in Yonkers. Students, teachers, and staff will all be required to wear face coverings, and CDC guidelines will be followed in classrooms, placing students at least three feet apart. Employees must either get vaccinated or be tested for COVID twice a week. And New York City teachers get back to work today, preparing classes for the start of their school year on Monday. Officials are promising to keep students and staff safe. CBS News' John Diaz is live in Hell's Kitchen with more this morning. John? Good morning to both of you. Mayor Bill de Blasio is saying no matter what, it is full steam ahead. Starting on Monday, all public city schools will reopen, and that does include the more than 200 schools that flooded in last week's storms, though there are critics of his plan. Ahead of school bells ringing, many are sounding alarms. It's not complicated. More contagious variant, but weaker testing rules? The mayor needs to be more stubborn about getting it right than about looking right. Councilman Mark Traeger is the chair of the Education Committee and stands firmly against the mayor's plan to fully reopen schools in person next week. Only unvaccinated students whose parents have submitted consent forms will be tested for COVID once every two weeks. The DOE estimates that number represents only 10% of the total population. A significant group of parents are still calling for a remote learning option. Public advocate Jumani Williams represents them. We seem to continuously try to choose the worst of the worst options and hope that the risk pays off. Just start off with the remote option. But the mayor isn't budging, leading to a question, what happens if parents refuse to send their kids to school? The only time that ACS will intervene is if there is a clear intent to keep a child from being educated. But we want to work with our families because we recognize what families have been through. As of September 2nd, over 5 million children have tested positive for COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic. And more than a quarter of a million pediatric cases were added just in the past week. The largest number of child cases yet in a week. But yesterday, the school's chancellor and her team explained their plans for a safe start to the school year. All teachers and staff must be fully vaccinated, with staff employing deep cleaning techniques, universal masking, social distancing, and ensuring fresh air in classrooms and common areas. I'm here to tell, to tell you today that yes, our buildings are safe. 65% of 12 to 17 year olds in New York City are vaccinated. As of yesterday, 72% of city teachers are vaccinated ahead of the September 27th deadline. Those who don't comply will be, quote, removed from the payroll. Now for additional safety measures, Mayor Bill de Blasio is calling on the federal government saying that that help uh, when it comes to safety measures could come in a form of a COVID vaccine that is safe enough for children under the age of 12 years old to take. Meanwhile, Pfizer is saying that clinical trial, trial results for such vaccine uh, should be available sometime this month. We're live this morning from Hell's Kitchen, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.